All right, hello, this is Amber from Family Geekery, and today we're going to be playing a little game called Cult of the Lamb. Now, I've seen this game on TikTok and Twitch, and seems pretty popular, so let's get into it. So we're gonna go ahead and start a new save. Never played this, but I hear it's good. Praise the Lamb, conduit of great power, promised liberator of the one who waits below. Yet sacrificial beasts take heed, for a crown cannot sit upon two brows. All right. Ooh, here I am. Let's learn the controls. I'm sad. Okay, so we're moving here with WASD. Okay. I really like this art style. It kind of reminds me of um, Don't Starve. Kneel to be sacrificed. Okay. Before us stands the last of its kind, all others we have hunted down and put to the blade. With this final sacrifice, the prophecy will be impossible to fulfill. The heretic who lies bound below will be condemned to eternal captivity, and the old faith shall be preserved. Who are these Cthulhu guys? I got a spider, got a frog. Oh! Oh, it's so cute. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'm in heaven or something? Waits, come closer, fear not. For those you are already dead, I still have need of you. Those foolish bishops thought they could keep you from me in death, but instead they sent you straight to me. I would give you life again, but at a price. All I ask is you to start a cult in my name. Do you have a deal? Absolutely. of the lamb. Ooh. Nice, I got a little sword. Attack. Okay. Cool. Okay. I got a little roguelike, I think. Fear not, I am Ratao. I was once a chosen vessel like you, but those days are lost to the wind. I was sent to guide you, but we are deep in the lands of the old faith and in grave danger. My instructions are to lead you to safety. Continue through the woods, escape Lysma ahead. I will be close by. Okay. Destroy everything. It's what you have to do in these games. <laughs> Ooh, a chest. All right, I got a coin. Currency. Okay. Cool. So I can choose which direction I want to go. Let's go left. I'm 
Come on, buddy. You can't get away from me. Another coin. If I destroy this stuff, will I also get coins? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Know where to go from here. Let's go right this time. Nice. Pretty easy so far. It's probably gonna change. <laughs> Ooh, money. A little fountain. Is this the boss, I guess? So I'm gonna go this way. And up this way. Get over here. Okay, more money. Alright. Boss fight. Do I get to see the map? Nope. Okay. Not with M at least. Oh, okay. That's just the door. So let's go here. Okay. We have nearly reached safety, but look ahead. Another poor soul about to be sacrificed. Rescue them and they would have no choice but to join your new cult. O oh, many bishops of the old faith, we ask you to accept the sacrifice of this wretched soul. Hey, who interrupts the ritual and trespasses on sacred ground? Me. I do. I'm not gonna kill this guy. Ooh, more. Come on. Yay! Saved. Oh, okay. I just took him. Follower awaits indoctrination. Alright, let's go. We have reached safety. You have done well. The red crown will allow you to use those markings on the ground to transport yourself great distances. It will take you to the temple that has fallen to ruin. There you will be able to begin your new cult. I will meet you there. Okay. Let's go. This game is so cute. Nice. Cool. No damage bonus, 50% on new items. Okay. Please select a difficulty don't worry, you can change difficulty at any time. Alright, let's just go ahead with medium. Okay. Here's Ratao. This hollowed ground, which was once mine, is now yours. This crumbling ruin is to be the site of your new cult. We have much to do. We begin by indoctrinating this poor soul into the warm embrace of your cult. Followers can gather resources for you. Order this one to collect lumber or stone. Here it is. Okay, buddy. Is this like mine? Do I get to. No? Okay. Indoctrinate the new follower. Bree Bree. Convert me to your cult. I will follow your teachings faithfully. Bree Bree. Okay, you can keep that name. Choose form. Whoa! Okay, you can stay as a. You can stay as a cow. Ooh, let's give you some cult markings, buddy. Zealous, ignores dissenters when they preach. Strong constitution, heals 15% faster when sick and in bed rest. Okay, I like that, I'll take that. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> cute outfit. Okay, go get me some wood. 
By your hand, your cult will grow powerful, but your followers cannot live on prayer alone. They must eat. Gather the necessary resources and build a cooking fire. It will allow you to prepare meals for your followers. Okay, so I've got to collect lumber and collect stone. I'll chop this. Okay. It's like... Wow, like farming sim. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Oh, alright, well, whatever. I'll, I'll keep getting this. Can I get the big tree? I can get the small one. Okay, one more wood. You wood? Okay. Well, birdie. <laughs> build cooking fire. Okay. Do I build over here? Cooking fire. Oh. Oh, cool. So I can build it on these tiles. That's a really cool system. Okay. We'll build that right there. Your followers need to eat, and it's up to you to provide meals for them. The hunger of your cult can be seen on the top left of the screen. When this gets too low, followers will begin to starve. Well, this looks just like <laughs> the Don't Starve logo. That's kind of funny. Find more food while crusading. Pick roots that pass through foraging locations. Okay, so the wood and food icons, I guess. That's cool. Plant farms to grow your own food. Seeds can be purchased or found while crusading. Cool. Collect berries and cook a meal. Let's go ahead and do that. Those of you who know me know that I love crafting and gathering games. So <laughs> this aspect of the game is going to be really cool. And it seems like there's like management components also since I've got little buddies to do stuff for me. Okay, let's cook a basic berry bowl. 15% chance of follower pooping instantly. Okay, minus 15% chance or just 15% chance? Okay, well, I guess we'll find out. Let's cook. Oh, okay. <laughs> Now we must build a shrine, but first we will need more followers and more gold, both of which can be found when crusading through the lands of the old faith. Our mutual benefactor, the one who waits, has been trapped by the four bishops of the old faith. Each of them guards a chain that binds him to the realm beyond. We have conjured openings to their realms. It is your task to track them down and slay them so that he may be freed. Now go, you shall find gold and willing recruits, and those who are not willing, convert them by force. Alrighty. Return to the lands of the old phase, return with more gold, return with more followers. Followers to deposit resources here while you're away. Cool. Just go through here, I guess? Okay, and I get to pick a door. Looks like green is first. So let's go ahead through green. That's the final, final boss, I guess. Okay. Oh, so my buddy helps me open the door. These graphics are so cute. I love it. Alrighty, let's go. Into the dark wood. got three hearts. Crusader's Blade. Okay. Take that. Okay. What does this say? Entering the lands of the Bishop Leshy. Those who do not follow the ways of the Old Faith will be destroyed. Alright, so Leshy's our first boss, I guess. 
Okay. Let's get some gold. Alright, got the money. Okay, which way? I guess left is the only way. So I can see a little map up here. What are you? Gonic, praise the lamb, conduit of great power, promised liberator of the one who that waits below. So the cards showed me once, many lifetimes ago, or is that yet to be? I have always drawn your cards, lamb, and yet this is the first. Take these cards and I will draw another each time we meet. When drawn by me, they will grant you power. What power? Well, that is both known and unfathomable. The cards they shall decide. A heart offered a vow made. A minor remedy. So does this heal me or grant me an extra max heart? I don't know. This one looks like it definitely gives me a max heart. So maybe this is a shield? I don't know. Let's go with this. All as it should be, as it ever was, as it always will be. Okay. Look at the book. Okay, so what does this do? 10% chance to crit. Reveal the map. Damages everything on screen when hit. Okay, so I've got lots of things to ch choose from at some point. Cool. Let's keep going. Boop, boop, boop. Money and grass. Okay, I guess this is used for crafting. That's cool. Cool. Let's keep going. So I guess those rocks don't give me anything? That's okay. grass. Oh, what is that? I don't know what that is. <laughs> Got another gray heart now. Ooh. A flower arch. An archway of woven blooms and vines. A decoration? Cool. Okay, that costs grass to build. Nice. A little blueprint. Let's keep going. Get some stone, I guess. And gold. Nice. I like that. And I like how this map has a little picture of a mine or whatever. Very thematic. Okay. Boss time? All right. Nothing in the box. Nope. Okay. Oh, the squirrel. Do I save the squirrel? I didn't kill it. All right. Let's go this way. I got my heart back at some point. What is happening? Fleshy, how can this be? You were put to the blade lamb as all your kind were, and yet here you stand before me, unrepentant. The crown, his power, could it be? But I'm stronger still. Turn tail and run, little lamb. Mm, no thanks. Which way should I go? Mm, let's go down. Ooh. Nice. 
slightly stronger. Very slightly stronger. <laughs> Recycle. Oh. Cool. Okay, let's go back up. Mm, let's go up. Oh, hello. Draw a tarot card. Reveal the map. Deal poison damage to enemy struck. Well, that sounds good to me. Ooh. You cannot argue with the draw. One might as well argue with the ocean. I wonder if there's any bad cards. Maybe I can look. Eh, I'll just be surprised. Are you... Am I gonna take you? You've come far enough, my little lamb. My followers are willing to do anything for me. Can you say the same of yours? I give myself to the cause of a mighty leader. By the blood of the great ones, destroy the red crown. Am I gonna defeat this guy and then take him? Oh! Oh, do say it. Okay. So I guess I was an armor heart. Okay, dodge that. And dead. Oh, he's so cute! Oh. I'm Dusayas. I'm Dusayas. Please spare me. Convert me to your cult. I will follow your teachings faithfully. Oh, he's adorable. Oh. Choose stone, lumber, or berries. I can get lumber. Hmm. I'm gonna choose berries. Oh, money. Okay. So, is that everything? I guess I went in all those directions. So let's keep going. So, I guess I can advance. Oh no, it's locked. Okay. So, let's just go back to the cult. And initiate my new guy. Cool. Alrighty. I'm relieved to see you made it safely. And you have not returned alone. You have convinced more to join our faithful flock. Let us indoctrinate this new convert so that we may continue. Alright. Oh, hello. Convert me to your cult. I will follow your te teachings faithfully. I'm Dusayas? Yeah, you can keep that name. Choose form. <laughs> it's so cute. You can stay that way. The other ones are cute too. Oh, a little kitty and a little fox. Okay, you can stay like that. I liked when you were yellow. So let's put you back to yellow. Okay. <laughs> gain 10 faith when falling ill. Um, gain faith when building better sleeping quarters. Can I change these? Nope. That's just what it is. That's cool. Nice. Cute. Uh, I got the other one collecting trees, so you can go collect stone. Followers are either work or worship. Worshipping followers generate devotion for you to collect. But to collect devotion, you will require a shrine. Okay. Let's see what I got. Got some lumber. Okay, 30 coins. Oh, I got 57, so let's build one of these. Okay, shrine goes in the middle. They're helping me build. That's so sweet. Praise be, your followers can now worship you. Here's a new follower. Assign them to, sh to the worship. Then collect the devotion. Yeah. Then collect the devotion for your followers generate. Unlock the divine shrine. Hello, piggy. Alright. Patri. I will spare you. Oh, what? On recruiting follower, immediately lose 10 faith. 
15% harder to level up, and minus faith when a follower is sacrificed. Well, okay. <laughs> you can be a cute little pink pig, that's fine. All right, uh, worship me, thank you. Collect devotion from your shine. Once you collect enough, you will unlock divine inspiration. The more followers worshipping at your shrine, the faster they will fill up. If the shrine is full, they will stop worshipping until it is emptied. Once you've collected divine inspiration, unlock new buildings for your cult through the shrine. Okay. Cool, so it's got a little cool down here. Let's go talk to our, our friend. Make demands if your follower work. I don't need to do either of those things. Keep doing it, buddy. Should I cook? My guys are... Okay. Let's make another one of these. Just so I can have it. Alright. Well, I'm liking this game so far. I think I'm gonna call it here for this part. Um, ooh, berry bush seeds. Okay. I'll have to play some more and. Oh, I've already got another. Nice, more lumber. Well, I think I'm gonna call it here. I've got a nice little startup in my cult. A little shrine to me made out of wood. It's so cute. And yeah. I've done the tutorial in a little bit, so I'll keep playing and I'll keep recording. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and check out our podcast and hit us with a like and subscribe. And thank you again. Peace out and geek out.